Chemical engineering is definitely a combination of mathematics, science, engineering. Uh, chemical engineering is the branch of engineering that deals with the transformations of matter. So we study, you know, small scale things and then we try and figure out how to scale them up. We work on upscaling processes, we work on improving processes, mostly in chemistry, but it can be in all kinds of uh, different fields and aspects. Typically students decide to study chemical engineering for different reasons and many times those reasons are because they like chemistry and they like mathematics. Coming out of high school I knew that I liked uh, chemistry and I liked physics and I liked math and I was trying to figure out what would combine all three of those things. You look at physical problems from a molecular perspective which is something that not all engineers do. Aside from being one of the top institutes in the country and even in the world, um, University of Delaware offers the unique opportunity to get involved in undergraduate research. Almost all of our faculty members have undergraduates and typically multiple undergraduates working in our laboratories on research projects, often as early as their freshman or sophomore year. We have a top 10 program in the country um, and our faculty are very intelligent but very accessible. When we came here, they knew what they were talking about and they could give it, to, they could tell you in a way that you would simply understand it, uh, even though it was a very complex material. The culture um, within many chemical engineering departments among students is very collaborative and teamwork oriented. When we're studying, uh, we'll all get collectively hungry at 2 o'clock in the morning, we'll all order food. We have tons of societies. We have uh, the Society of Women Engineers, we have the, the National Society of Black Engineers, we have my organization, the uh, Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers. We often have students go to do things as diverse as medical school, of course graduate school, working in industry, working for consulting companies, working for investment banking companies. No matter what happens in terms of technological revolutions, the world's always going to need another chemical engineer. 